In a St. Petersburg dockyard, the future of atomic power is taking shape. Part ship, part platform. The academic Lomonosov is the first of eight $336 million floating nuclear reactors. Individually, they'll create enough electricity for 45,000 people and will have the added ability to purify seawater into fresh water. Russia is already one of the world's biggest oil and gas providers, and this could well expand Russia's global energy influence. Essentially, where there's water and the need for power, this floating nuclear platform can provide energy. It's been championed as a viable alternative to polluting fossil fuel plants, but environmentalists aren't convinced. When completed next year, the first plant will be deployed in the Kamchatka region in Russia's far east, close to Japan. Among fears of earthquakes, terrorism and piracy, environmental groups like Greenpeace are also worried about whether the project's even economically viable. For Kamchatka, for example, it's 40% higher cost than the existing uh, power cost in, in this region, which will destroy the local economy. And from, from this point of view, we don't understand why Russian government do this project. A number of countries, including Indonesia, China and Algeria, have reportedly expressed interest in the plants. But closer to home, the idea could power the Kremlin's drive for supremacy of the Arctic. Several countries have launched competing claims to the territory and what could be the world's last remaining oil and gas reserves. Platforms like this could allow Russia to create manned outposts all the way to the North Pole. The plants can create bases for the exploration of territories where no man has ever set foot. There's no need to worry about our technology. We have 50 years experience operating a fleet of nuclear-powered icebreakers in extreme conditions. We've never had any malfunctions. Growing concerns about the safety of nuclear plants recently prompted Germany to close all of its reactors. But as Russia moves to develop its vast territory, Floating power stations could strengthen and extend Moscow's control of global energy reserves. Neve Barker, Al Jazeera, St. Petersburg.